everyone welcome back to my channel so what i'll be making for you today is my jamaican um pumpkin soup with chicken feet and chicken wings so i already went ahead and put the chicken feet in it take a much longer time to cook so it's their cooking and these are the ingredients i'll be using so here is some chicken wing I'm just going to pair it with. And I'm going to use half of the pumpkin. I've got two chayote, some carrots, two um, batata, which we call sweet potato. And I've got a pumpkin soup, a cock soup, my flour. And I've got some yellow yam that I've already peeled. And um, it's in the fridge. And I've got some butter. Not using the entire stick of butter. And I've got two cloves of garlic, some thyme, a scotch bonnet pepper, and some scallion. So that's the ingredients I'll be using today. So I'll just take you along the process. The, why I'm saying welcome back to my channel. Unfortunately, I had some videos up, but I was tired and a part of me really was going to throw in the towel. But I was motivated to keep going on, so that's why I am back. So please bear with me. Please share the video, like the video, comment more than one time, tell me what you think. Just have a little interaction with me. And, you know, just keep me motivated and going. Thank you and be blessed. It is so hard. Uh, as squash, but in our country we say pumpkin. Ah nice and pretty so i'm just gonna use a half so i'm gonna get all the process going and we'll catch up back oh guys my channel is not a cooking tutorial channel but i'll explain the process as i go along because i'll be doing more than cooking like pranks vlogs try and all just whatever i choose to do okay so as i said stay tuned and watch the process so I'm just adding um, my two cloves of garlic so it can help to soften the chicken feet a bit quicker. Yeah. Half hour, or as I said, if it's really hard, maybe an hour or 45 minutes. So let us see. So I'm just cutting my carrots. Cutting them in the bite size. You don't want them too thick because you don't want to choke on them. And I've already cut my pumpkin into cubes. So yeah. So, and then I'm going to cut my chayote. Same size. And yeah. After this, I'm going to go ahead and make my dumplings to put in the soup. Usually, I would put um, cornmeal in it. But, unfortunately, I don't have any. So, you just got to go like that. So guys, my chicken feet is cooked. So now I'm gonna make my dumpling. So I'm using two cups of flour and I'm just gonna sieve it because when you sieve the flour, it make it much lighter. And I'm gonna add a little pinch of salt. And just a little pinch. Yeah, and we're going to use it with some lukewarm water. Making like a little well. Just add in my water. And just keep covering the well. Add a little bit more. And you do not want to overwork the flour because you don't want to release too much of the gluten. And then it starts to get tight. Because nobody wants a tight dumpling. That thing will break your teeth. I'm just joking. It won't break your teeth, but it's too hard. 
So yeah, if after I finish making it, I'm gonna let my dough rest for a little bit, and then I start to roll them, add them to the pot, and then I'll be adding my yellow yam, my sweet potato, and my veg, and the, the pumpkin soup, the cock soup, the skelly and the thyme, and I've got some pimento seed that we do have. I forgot to show that in the when I was doing the first intro. But yeah, just a little bit. And you do not crack the seed, you just put a little bit in it. So just making a little bit of dumpling to go. I like to use um, cornmeal in it, but as I said, I don't have any. Yeah, this will work. I'm just gonna let it rest for like five, six minutes, you know, just to relax a little bit because as I said, as you need and you put it in, sometimes the gluten is too hard. It really is too much of the gluten and it's too hard. You don't want to over knead, never ever over knead. Yes, yeah, so I'm just gonna let it sit, then I'm gonna add it to my pot and then start adding all the ingredients. I'm gonna add my flour. Well, I'm rolling my dumplings to put in my soup. And my dumplings are not always the prettiest, but hey. Just roll it into a little ball. That's how I do, and then I press a little bit. And that's it. This is the yellow yam that I've already washed and peeled and put it in the refrigerator. Actually, if I buy like a big portion, what I'll do, I'll just wash it. Peel it, wash it, squeeze, cut it up, squeeze some lime juice on it, and pop it in the refrigerator so when I want it. And that way, it's the lime juice, um, let it not get brown, and you'll always have it because sometimes to get cabbage and products, it can be a little bit hard. So now I'm just going to add my veg in the pot. I'll be adding the sweet potato last because that's easy to cook and um, I don't want it to mash out, get real mushy, so that's like real easy to cook. So that will be added in last. So that's the veg in it. So I'm gonna let that cook a little bit and then I'm gonna add my sweet potato, my pepper, butter, the noodles, and then just leave it and let it do its own thing for the next time. Um, I come back, we'll do the plating. So now I'm adding the butter to the sweet potato. I'm gonna add my thyme. Scotch bonnet pepper, just pierce it to release a little bit of flavor. You're not gonna cut it up or anything. And then um, my skelly, and then I'm just gonna press on it a little bit. Yeah. And then I'm gonna put my Chicken noodles too. Pimento seed. Just a little bit more. Yeah. And then I'm going to add my cock soup. All right, 
then I'm gonna um, give it a little stir, let it do its thing. And guys, I forgot one ingredient. Do bear with me, I apologize. I'm gonna add some okra to my soup. And then I'm just gonna let it stay there and reduce itself and do its thing. So I'm not I'm not adding a lot of okra. I'm just gonna do it in the light. Maybe like about seven okra. Yeah. And then uh, I will not add any salt as yet because the cock, the cock soup and the pumpkin soup has a lot of sodium in it. So as soon as it starts to cook down and start to flavor, then I'll taste. And if needs be, I'll add a little bit of sea salt. If not, that's fine. Sometimes I have the ingredients. Left. Don't see with me. Wash. Everything I'm adding is optional. You don't want to have the tomato seeds. You don't want to add the okra. You don't want to have any dumpling. It can just be veg and meat. It's whatever you want. But this is what I grew up eating, and this is what I like. Well, I'm just gonna. Run my knife into two, slice them into two, and then yeah. I'm just gonna reduce the flame a little bit and just let it stay there and do its thing until it's nice and thick to the consistency that I want. And then I'll do the plating, and that's it. All right, guys, so it needs to reduce a whole lot more. So I'm gonna um, taste and see if I need to put more salt. So I'm gonna put this amount in it, I should do. I'm gonna get it there to get thick. And then the next time you see me, it will, or I'm gonna make sure it has the amount of salt I want in it. We can take a little bit more. You might say, Ivan, why are you putting so much salt? No, I'm not. But it needs, it's really, really fresh. Chicken feet, chicken wing, my dumpling, my yam, my carrot, chayote, pumpkin, yeah, and of course, this is my okra. So it's all nice and thick, nice thick consistency. And I'm gonna remove the pepper. See, it wasn't burst; it just released a little bit of flavor. Yeah, so. So now I'm gonna do a little taste test of my soup. So we have the chicken feet, we have the yam, we have the sweet potato carrot, okra, fermenter seed we don't eat. So of course you're gonna move that out of the way. So just the right amount of salt. The pepper release a little bit of flavor in it. And yeah. So thank you for watching. Please, as I said, do like, share, comment, and subscribe. And feel free to drop a comment as many and many a times, whatever you want to ask. No, feel free to go ahead and do so. And as again, thank you. Be blessed.